So a couple of weeks ago I made a video where I talked about how some of these LED flashlights were drawing power even when these things were in the off position. But I hadn't taken the time to actually calculate how much power is being drawn. I used a real sensitive meter I had. I didn't even know at the time what scale it was, uh, it amounted to full scale. And I, I since learned that, uh, well one of these flashlights that I was kind of hard on really doesn't draw that much power in the scheme of things. This is the quantum flashlight sold by Harbor Freight. Found out this thing is only drawing about four microamperes. And if you know what a microamp is, one microamp is equal to one millionth of an amp. So if your battery has a, a capacity, let's say, you know, a one amp hour capacity, uh, it's going to take an awful long time to draw that battery down. And I just thought I'd better kind of own my, uh, my mistake in this video. This flashlight, on the other hand, this one, uh, drew substantially more. This is the one called the Tech Light Lumen Master. This thing draws 220 microamps and that's enough power to where at the end of the year you're gonna have dead batteries with this flashlight here. So uh, there was merit to what I was saying but uh, to compare this flashlight here with this one no comparison. Um, the other thing that uh, I did was I'm just curious to see how much power these things use in the high and low position. And this one, for example, in the high position, it's using over half of an amper. And that's probably why I saw such a short battery life on this thing. Uh, 650 milliamps to be exact in the high position, whereas in the low position it was 250 milliamps. The uh, Tech Light Lumen Master drew 200 milliamps in the low position and 400 milliamps in the high position. Now the one that was the most impressive was this little 9 volt light here, made by Packlight. This thing, believe it or not, only draws 1.4 milliamps in the low position and 44 milliamps in the high position. Now you can see a substantial difference in the brightness there, but sometimes efficiency is more important than uh, brightness. And so if I wanted something that would last a long time, this would definitely be the flashlight I want. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a video about that. Um, kind of surprised that, uh, to see the actual power consumption was so low on that one flashlight. Um, by the way, I took my uh, I took my meter since I've calibrated it. I did a little experiment here that I thought was kind of fun. I took a piece of copper and some zinc, and I found that by dropping them in ordinary tap water, that uh, I'm actually able to get full scale reading on this thing. And I believe uh, this thing obviously can't even measure what the actual power output is by doing this because it full scale pegs out, there's no, no more room to read anything. <clears throat> but I took my other meter I measured, I believe it's around 90 microamp just by ordinary tap water with some copper and some zinc. By the way, if you do this experiment, you can use a, an ordinary penny if it's made after 1984. You do want to sand one side of it so that uh, you can expose the zinc. But uh, anyway, for what it's worth, I thought that was kind of a fun experiment. In fact, I found that you can also take these things, put them on your tongue, let's see here. Ah, kind of feels like putting a 9 volt battery on my tongue. Not quite as strong, but uh, I can definitely feel it. Anyway, as always, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks.